Okay, so we're going to show you how to remove your screen, the radio controls, and the heater control fascia on your Land Rover Discovery 4. So we've already done a video of how to remove the centre console. The link is here. We've done another video of how to remove the, the sort of dash around bits here, and we'll put the link to that one there. And now this is the, th the final part in our series where we're just going to whip these out. We haven't actually done this, so bear with us. Um, right, we've worked out how to get this bit out, haven't we? And, and you can just pull that on four clips. They're pretty fierce, though. It's got these little clips at the side here. But you can just sort of do some... It really feels like you're wrecking your car doing this, but it's... There you go, it's just got those little springy clips there on the corners and you can disconnect the clock and let's get that out of the way. So that one seems like it's just a, a pull. Pull, yeah. And then that one's got a little catch on him. Yeah, that's yeah. him out. I'll put him up there. There you go, right. Oh, right, and what else we got going on here? What should we do next? You choose him. Just start at the top. Uh, what's that, Torx T20 again? T, yeah, T20. So you've got four, so there's four screws, let me see if the, there you go, you can see it better there. So you've got one at the top, the second one looks like it's down here, and then the same on the other side. Uh, we'll get on and do those, and then we'll rejoin you. Yep, so with those four screws out, that's what comes out. Let's just have a look at those screws in, so everyone putting it back together again can have a look what they all look like. And they're all the same length, were not they? Yeah, they're all, yeah, the, same. all the same length, yeah, cool. Um, so that's the main sort of head unit there. What's he got some tricky connection on the back, has he? Yeah, we've got quite a few connections Hands on, on the, the back. back. I don't know if you can see, see. Yeah, there. let's, no, let's, should we, which, which one's giving us the, the length issue? Whoa! Um, Alright, and so let's have, we'll have a look what we've got in there so we can put them all back in the right place. Um, right, let's have a look. This, this little coax connector is quite tight. Well, we're gonna have to have a work, work that out, I think. So these are the connections we got out the back, um, and they've got these just these little push levers. That one was a push lever. That one, so that one's on the the bottom of the unit, mm. on the underside here. Yeah. Um, this black one is on one end, and that's got a little squeezy side yeah. things. Yeah. Which is on the. On and that's the. the I think that's the most bus. I think they call that. That's the fiber optic bus, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Next one over is this one, which is again just on the bottom. Another squeeze. Squeeze. Yeah. That should be your. We think reverse, reverse camera. camera we, think. we think. So we've got that empty. Yeah. And that's maybe what we've got to connect to. And then, then this lastly. is what they call them fat crab far car connectors. So you just push on that center piece there. That, what that another, that little? another pinch one. Okay, let's have a look at that center piece. I'm quite getting on that white so bit. Oh, there's a little round little white bit. Round white bit. And it moves. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That out. And that out. And there you go. That is the back of the uh, of the screen unit. So there we go. That now apparently there is different types. Uh, the back of the screen, and apparently it might be connected to the gear change type. So this one's got. Let's have a look at that gear change type. That's got the rotary gear. The gear. The gear stick. Yeah, yeah but it's that rotary selector. Is it the rotary selector. Turn the pop up there, one or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's that. Um, right, and then the next bit, let's do it quickly, um, is just, no, got I got the, oh, I got the tools, there you go, oh my god, we got bits all around us here in a right pickle. Let's have a look what's behind here. Um, so this looks like we're going to take out the main unit now. So there's, there's actually screws here, and screws on the unit here, I can't adjust for the light, well done. Um, so we're going to just go for those ones on the grey panel first, so we can see what that gets out. As ever, we've really got no idea what we're doing here. Right. What do those screws look like? They look. Do they yeah, all look exactly the same? The They're same. all the same They're as all the, the others, same. aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, We've cool. We've got a whole stash of them now. The only ones that are different yeah. are the original ones that we took, took out. Took out there, those. those. The very first ones. And they, they weren't torques, were they? They They're were the talks. crosshead. They're yeah. posi drive. Yeah. All of the rest up there, all at the same. All the same, cool. All right, well, how many dudes are you taking out? Two. There, there's, I've got one at the bottom here. Oh, no, that's on the black bit that's there. On the back. It seems like that. those two seem like they're to separate this. Very grey front face. Face off the hole. A couple of little clips. It does look like it's going to release this whole. We want to slide this whole unit here out, really, don't we? That looks like it's these black frame. 
Actually, we'll have a look. Maybe we didn't need to take those grey ones out. We'll have a look. No, I think those grey ones are just for Just, this. yeah, internal. There's a couple of small clips just there on, on your side as well. Yeah. But you like reckon if we take there. that whole black frame out, we reckon we'll slide it all out, do we? Right, we'll undo, so we'll undo these one, two, three on both sides, and we'll come back and see what, what oh, happens. Yeah, we just found another one right at the bottom under here. Go on, adjust. There you go. You can see I've taken it out there. Ian's just doing it there. That's Where's the, that? Straight below the heat. Straight control. below the, yeah, straight below those there. So there's, so there's just to confirm, there's one, two, three, four on each side. You don't need to take that first grey one out that we were playing with. So we've put those back in there. All right. Will that go now, Ian? That's okay. Still feels pretty. It still feels pretty. It still feels pretty. Yeah. All right, we'll have another look. So we have actually taken these two out either side here, and there's a couple of clips at the bottom. Hold on, let the light adjust. There it is. There's a couple of clips here. We've We've levered out, and let's have a look what that goes. Again, we've never taken this apart before. We? Oh, there we go. That comes off there. Room. You haven't got much room. There's a very short, short connector there, but he seems to pop off happy enough. So that's the sort of ash tray. We'll give all this a nice clean before we put it together. Separate. Oh, there we go. Yep, yeah, that piece there. All that ash tray. Give that a clean. There's the fascia there. That's got all that. Right, and what's this jazz? Some other, that's another little bit of Jaguar Land Rover thing there. Okay, right, like that the main CD player, CD player is... So we've got a couple of hidden bolts. Uh, bar, yeah, the, the, there. That would probably just those two. Those two. All right, we'll undo them. Let me just show people that out. You've got two there, one there, and obviously one on the other side there where Ian's going now. And then you reckon if we whip those two out... A mess. Feels wrong ripping into this. It does. Feels like we're never going to get this back together again. And why did we rip all of this out? I don't know. We just thought we'd make a video. <laughs> we have no game. To do we get it clean. We don't like the dust. We're like, hey, that's that's that out. Um, and that's the is that, that so that's the main CD unit there. See this connector here. Connector, what's like? Oh, he just pulls out. I've got no idea what that is. Got those... a little pinch on the bottom pinch there. On. Tight, then you got a bit more length from these. Oh, that's, like, that's old most bus connector again. I've got no idea what you can see there because I can't see going on it. Those ones you connect, that's that. So green that's... goes into your yeah. CD player and blue goes into your um, yep. this the screen. screen. Okay. A red one. Pinch and pull, they should be. Oh, it should be just down. Go on, heave. Need three hands for this. Okay. Right, that's that connector out. Right, and then that, and again, do we need to watch that? You've got to press that little nipple bit on the top of that, haven't you? Yep. And what colours these? Because that, that's, black, that's so black for the bottom, again, blue at the top. So the blue, the two blue, blue things go at the, go top. At the top. Green and black go to your CD player. Yeah, and I think that's about all we can take apart there, isn't it? Let's have a look at the back of that. What's on the back of that? We didn't have it's a little. Just all those it's just all those connections. All those there. Yeah, there's no other inputs we can use there for anything, really, is there? No. Right, good luck with that.